are not the caption. So take a break. Here, tag and tip. Take a span and use uh, for dots. I will just give a class. Class equals to dots copy. Test test test. Four dots for four images. Four dots. I, uh, I'm hoping you are listening. Listening me. And give it a style here. Mm, sorry, text align center. Okay, fine. And let's work on style part. Dots and give it a width. Thirteen pixel height. Thirteen pixel display inline block okay background background will be uh, gray and padding padding will be a uh, white pixel save it refresh so you can see here and uh, let's give a border radius 50 percent to make it in circle to circle okay it is a little large let's do okay it's fine now you can see here in this whenever someone reloading the page it will show you some effect and whenever its image is changing it will show you some fade effect for few seconds you can see so we will do same thing here and uh, let's write a class we'll use css animation class fade and uh, just uh, use another right here dot fade animation name sorry animation name animation name will be fade animation duration animation duration okay spelling is correct it will be for 0. Uh, 0. 0.2 seconds okay 0. 0.2 seconds and let's uh, give the functionality of this animation at the rate keyframes keyframes fade and uh, right here to from two so opposite will change from zero point capacity zero point four to capacity one refresh okay it's a little fast yeah it's look cool and uh, let's work on javascript initialize a variable where slide index equals to one okay now we will initialize a function show image and we will call this function copy and paste it here and the parameter will be slide index yeah it's one initially it is one and uh, take a variable uh, slide equals to document dot 
data elements document dot get elements by class name so class name is nothing but slides yep so what it will return it will return return an array because there is more than one uh, class slide there are four slide classes so it will it will work as an array we can indexing now use a function for loop okay before, before using for loop we will have to apply some condition and slide index we have to receive it here as n so n is a first image for first image right now and we will give condition if n means slide less than uh, slide index slide in slide this array i'm talking about this class slide dot so length if n is less than slide dot length what we will do sorry if n is greater than slide dot length we will do slide index one uh, slide index equal to greater than one we will do one so if n is uh, if greater than this number of images four and it is going to be five six seven so what we will do we will keep it uh, uh, will uh, we will move it in a circle so we will make it one and if n is less than one means if, if it is it goes negative because if some, someone can press more than uh, three or four times a previous button so it may be go in negative so for to preserve uh, we will do slide index equal to last so for last we will write here slide dot length for loop and here where i start from zero and condition will be i less than slide dot length and here we will do i plus plus and uh, what we will do slide so i already told you it's it works as an array so we can write here here i dot style dot display equals to none right save it everything is i have already given uh, by css inline css style display block but because of javascript it is not displaying here and it is not necessary right now we just remove this and it is still not displaying and come here and write slide slide index minus one thought style dot display equals to block now you can see the first image now our 80% work is done so first what I did I am taking variable i and keeping all the slide class display none because of loop all the slide class display none and the finally the index according to the show image we are getting index 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so first image will be block the display will be blocked so it will, you can see the first image so no, now we are going to work on uh, for next and previous buttons so here plus index copy it and right here so function plus index take n as an argument because from here we are passing plus one so one will come here 
one will come here and we will just increment the index show image and slide index plus equal to n suppose uh, we have given slide index as a making slide index as a global variable so it may be three two anything so if someone press forward button one comes and if it is earlier three then it becomes four and call the show image then n becomes four and for loop will, dis uh, will uh, make display none for all the images and finally if it is four four minus one three display will be block this in this way it is working save it now let's see if it's working or not fresh okay it's working and uh, we'll have to apply the classes here so just use the classes and apply it here we have given class class equals to number and class text class equals to number class text sorry number and class text save refresh but one so let's for something wrong Okay, minus one, and this is plus one. Save two, three, back two, one, two, three, four. You can see here it's working very fine. Now So it's working great and now we are going to work on uh, current slides position this one whenever we click on slide will change so let's say where is this one current slide one one as a parameter one and on click print slide one copy paste two number of images it depends on number of images for front slide and and show image slide index equal to n Save, refresh, two, three, four, one, three. It's working fine. Now we'll change the color. So use a class dot dot and sorry we'll take name class active and 
dot when hover someone dot class so we'll change the background hash 333 refresh so it's senior color not changing text dot class sorry it's dots yeah and cursor pointer now the next part is take a variable dots equals to document dot get elements by class name dots and save it what will do dots and slide index minus one dot class name equals to uh, let's concatenate it with active refresh it refresh so you can see here uh, this is active and rest of them is not active will not active everyone is going to be active but we have to remove using the for loop whenever we once you refresh it initially it is first slide and first one is active but whenever you click on this one is active and this one is also active so we have to use for loop to remove this active class and zero dot dot length plus plus dots so i dot class name equals to dots i dot class name so whenever we are writing dots i dot class name what we will have the class name and using a function a replace it's a javascript simple function and whenever we found active class we will replace with nothing just blank okay is something wrong dots i dot class name dot replace Oh, sorry. Yes. Fresh. Fine. It's working fine. Things working clearly. So, guys, thanks for watching. You will get the source code just uh, uh, in this section. Download source code. You will get source code here after uh, uploading this video. And uh, don't forget to like in my website here and don't forget to visit my youtube channel oh sorry what happened so subscribe my youtube channel this will help me a lot and i have uploaded pure spinner CSS video and uh, so many videos you can watch if you want and my next video will be about uh, inventory management system that will relate to any uh, store and any anywhere you can use that system basically it's about sales management system thanks for watching